Hello, my oodles and noodles. We're back to geek out on some anime yet again. I wanted to talk about, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? First thing I want to make a complaint about, whoever decided to make that the title of the damn show should be fired. If it's the writer, he should be fired. Everything should be fired. That is a horrendous, horrendous name for an anime. And it doesn't even really make up, make sense in the series because the main character never picks up anyone in a dungeon. He gets saved in a dungeon. He doesn't pick up a girl in a dungeon. So, pointless, pointless and way too long, way too long. That being said, we are introduced to this story through our main character, Bell Crenell. He is a young, pretty little boy with silver hair and red eyes who lives in a world where the Greek gods and goddesses have come down from the heavens and graced us with their corporeal presences. And they live among humans and they create familias. So you, as a person, can go and meet the god Freya. Goddess, sorry, Goddess Freya, and swear allegiance to her and become one of her family members. And this will give you access to basically the ability to become a badass. You can get physically stronger, you can develop skills, magic, all through this, this connection to your god or goddess, which is a really fascinating concept. And I think that was done really, really well. It kind of creates that RPG style flavor but yet makes sense. A lot of anime, they don't even justify it. There's kind of this weird RPG style characterization of things, but yet no understanding of why things are like that in the normal world. Whereas now it makes sense. People are leveling up because that's how the gods and goddesses are portraying it throughout the series. So that's pretty cool. And our, our main character, Belle Cornell, has become part of Hestia, the goddess of hearth and <sighs> marriage it's not exactly the best goddess to choose but in this one she's a looks 12 12 14 years old with huge boobs again the etchy in this is awkward as usual the fact that a goddess is acting like a small child and trying to like weirdly flirt with a young boy it's 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 a little bit overdone. Belle Crenell is, as usual, a clueless airhead who doesn't understand anything about interactions with anyone really, especially females. But overall, he's actually a relatively interesting character from a purely kind of motivational standpoint. And that's really what season one is all about. It is Belle pushing himself to be more than what he is. He wants to be a hero. He wants to genuinely save people and he is ball busting himself to get stronger and this motivation is amplified when he gets saved in a dungeon by one of the strongest of the adventures part of the loki familia this woman named aisan and she is known as, as the sword princess and she's just phenomenally strong she's much higher level than he is he's a level one she's a level six which seems to be the top level that most people are around level six. I don't recall there ever being a mention of a level seven. The level six seems to be where people are topping off and they're like OP as crazy. And all these adventurers, all these people who are bonding to gods or goddesses go into this dungeon. They live in this town called Orario and beside it is this dungeon, which is not clearly said whether the dungeon is there because of the gods and goddesses that they make it. It's not really clear. But these adventurers go into the dungeon and they fight monsters, they grow, they strengthen themselves, they level up. And of course there is actually fighting between the familias also. So that adds a little extra interesting political machinations to stuff. And so we have this little, this little guy, Bell, who's trying to become a tough cookie. Um, is it done well? Eh. Fighting in this series? is pretty good. I give it, like, the, the action scenes are 8 on 10. Aesthetically, very pleasing, visually well done, very clear. There's a lot of intensity to the battles. I liked it a lot in the first season. 
side characters tend to not be developed much at all, although they're not bad. They're still interesting. The people who slowly become friends of Bell and eventually become part of his family are interesting, but they, they kind of stay one-dimensional. Of course, every single one of the women is kind of portrayed in sort of a harem way where they all have an interest in Belle, but not really, so it's kind of not going anywhere because he doesn't think of females in that way, although he does get an occasional red face. Again, there's, there just seems to be... It's one of those anime where women are eye candy, although there is some badasses in there. It, it, it's, it, it's skirting the line between annoying, etchy, and acceptable portrayal of women who are strong yet also obviously sexual creatures just like men are we're all sexual and that's fine is it wrong to pick up girls in the dungeon just kind of skirts that line between stupidity and acceptable in my book uh, but of course this is a fantasy action series and it does that pretty darn well i like the fights i like the battles i liked seeing Bell push himself and slowly get stronger and stronger throughout this first season. I am hoping season two and season three are just as good. But so far, season one is eight on ten. Eight on ten, and I would check it out if I was you. The whole kind of backstory of the whole gods and goddesses and seeing how they're interacting with their people down below. I think Loki was one of the funniest. We're all sort of used to seeing Loki as a man within this series. She is a woman <laughs> and uh, very clearly a lesbian. Very, very clearly a lesbian because she has a thing for eyes, uh, especially her booty. So that is pretty fun to see. It's done well. It's humor that doesn't bother me. A lot of humor in anime bothers me, but this does not, at least in season one so far. Our main nemesis, so to speak, to a degree, seems to be Freya, but it's hard to tell right now. There's not some big main enemy. It's more so just Bell trying not to die and uh, getting a little bit tougher and getting his ass saved a few times. But it's done in a good way. It's done in a good way. I'd recommend checking it out. Let me know what you think about it after down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out the website, geektales.ca. I will watch season two and then season three and let you know what I think. Bye.